All right guys, so you build your computer, you assemble your computer, and you want to know what is next or exactly what I do when I build a computer. Go ahead and make a Windows 10 bootable flash stick, flash drive. I, I, I got this one here, this is a 16 gigabyte 3.0 USB. I got Windows 10 here, the installation, and go ahead and put it in your uh, computer. Go ahead and do a reset. All right, once we get back into the BIOS, when you are doing the reset, the restart, go ahead and click delete a couple of times when it's doing the restart, okay? It's very important for you to do that. And if the if the BIOS takes you straight to Windows installation, then that is okay too. But I wanted to do it from here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to advanced settings. I'm gonna go to boot. And you can have this, you know, you can change this however you want them to. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm going to go ahead and see the boot option priorities. See right now, since this is the only uh, detectable uh, USB or disk that has something in it, it's gonna go straight to it. But right here, we got an option that says boot override. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that USB, click on it, and it's gonna go into a dark screen and it's going to boot up again and we are prompted into the Windows setup. We click next and we hit install now. Now this is gonna be a long process so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to that. Right here it's asking me if I have a Windows key. I'm gonna go ahead and click. I don't have a product key for right now and right here it's gonna ask me what I want to install. So I'm gonna click Windows 10 Home Edition because that is what I'm going to buy. That is the license key that I already got. So I'm not gonna put it here on the video. Go ahead and click accept the license term, terms. And right here, this is very important. Right here, it is it's asking you upgrade, install windows and keep files or custom install windows, only advanced. I click on that one. Right here, it shows my hard drives. As you can see right here guys, I got my 120 gigabyte SSD, it's unallocated space, and right here it's my two terabyte uh, hard drive. So for me, I'm going to install my Windows over here on my SSD, so I click that and click next. And well, the process of installing Windows is going to take place. It could be five minutes, it could be 20 minutes, it depends. So I'm gonna skip through that. All right, after installing all the features, uh, Windows says that it needs to restart, restart to continue. So for whatever reason, I didn't record my settings. I recorded up to here. Uh, I guess the camera stopped recording by itself. What's going on here? And who's going to use this PC? I'm gonna go ahead and put, for the meantime, user. And later we can change this name if we want. Make it secure, put in a password. Nah, we're not gonna put in password right now. And after that, meet Cortana. I don't wanna use Cortana. Not now. All right, and after that, guys, uh, we are doing our Windows installation. Hi, I'm sure you guys seen this screen before. We're happy you're here, yay, I'm happy to be here too. That means that I had a successful installation of Windows. Getting things ready, please don't turn off your PC, okay? And pretty much guys, you follow the installation guide until you get to your Windows. All right guys, we are finally on Windows and it looks like I do have internet access. Before with Windows 8, you had to install your LAN drivers. As you can see here, we do have internet access. So that's pretty cool. That means that we are ready to go and install our drivers and everything else. So let's get into that. One of the first things that I do guys is I download Firefox. All right guys, once we are here, 
in our Windows 10 here I am using my recorder device I'm using fast on capture I have used it for many years uh, okay so the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and run your uh, update go ahead and run your update uh, go ahead and click check for update and we're going to update Windows 10 and as you can see here we got a whole bunch of them not really too many but yeah we do so go ahead and uh, you know let downloading updates it's going to download automatically I guess and once that is done go ahead and install your updates and you are good to go for the next step alright so I installed uh, Windows 10 the updates and everything else I also activated my Windows the key I enter my Windows key and everything and after that guys well what you want to do is download your drivers so what am I gonna do here it's I'm gonna go ahead and go for AMD AMD drivers and we're gonna look for our um, and we're gonna look for our graphics card so let's see here uh, do I want this one devices drivers no I want close this drivers and support latest AMD AP drivers no I'm not using that Radeon drivers 64 bit uh, Crimson edition uh, relief graphics driver we're gonna go ahead and install it from here. 221,000 Crimson Relief or download it. Save file. It's going to download and we are going to do our uh, graphics drivers installation. And after that, we're going to do the Windows drivers and you know to work with the RAM and all that good stuff. If you have better ways to do it, then you know. You can share that below the description. I mean, the comments. I've noticed, guys, that um, let me close this tab. Come on, close. No, don't warn me. Just close the tabs. Okay. So right here, um, don't change any of this here. It's going to go and install it wherever it needs to be. So installing is going to be installed to the C drive where Windows is installed so you want to have your drivers installed in the same um, SSD or hard drive alright so this came up on the screen your graphics card awaits click here to end user license agreement uh, let's see if you're not you know experienced on this here you can you know use the uh, express installation and for this video we're going to go ahead and use express installation i don't want to confuse you with a lot of settings and whatnot some the hdmi audio driver and all that good stuff which pretty much i should have went to custom installations because i why do i want the hdmi audio, audio driver I never use it anyway so let's go ahead and click install after having your windows uh, drivers installed or your windows update this is what's next so we wait it's probably going to stop the recording all right well I am lucky that it didn't um, you know stop the recording but I wanted to be safe I didn't want to lose the footage after uh, it's installed guys uh, it's going to ask you to if you want to install a relive or relief and go ahead and you know click ok and now I'm going to enable this here that says keep system up to date so I click on that and after that guys I'm gonna click restart now and we are done with our graphics drivers okay okay guys so I am having issues with AMD uh, video drivers the graphics card drivers take a look in here so it shows that I got you know the Radeon settings I'm gonna go to my uh, Radeon settings 
and I'm gonna click that and it says no AMD graphics driver is installed or the AMD driver is not functioning properly what the hell I already uninstalled them reset the computer wiped everything out reinstall them and I get the same issues <laughs> Uh, this is the type of issues that I always get with AMD graphics drivers. Um, if it's not one, it's the other. If one thing doesn't want to install, it's the other. So, IO Bit Driver Booster. This is what I use. I use this one and I use another one. Okay, so if you want to get, you know, paid for it, you can. I truly recommend it. So, download Driver Booster. Make sure you don't download a freaking virus. So be careful on that. Make sure it's driver booster setup BXE. If you don't have an antivirus, I don't have one so far yet. So, so I'm doing the first setups. Driver booster for setup. All right, let's go ahead and minimize the screen here. And preparing driver booster installation. This right here, guys, is going to scan your computer and all of your stuff yes i agree no don't install anything else skip installation is uh complete all right so this is what i'm going to do right now minimize that it's going to go ahead and scan my computer i made a video of a uh, driver toolkit that i use all the time see here we got we got we need 12 outdated device drivers and well pretty much they are not installed so now what I'm going to do here real quick I also use this other tool okay and I want you to and I want you to uh, driver toolkit I also use this one right here to verify uh, this one I do have the license for it and what I'm going to do is I always use two of them I install both and what is that necessary well if one uh, driver installer doesn't scan one thing the other one will a lot of people say driver toolkit is a virus don't install it don't install it you just see me right now install it in this recording so this one's showing driver booster 4.2 it's telling me that I got 12 outdated device drivers so I'm gonna go ahead and close that one for right now and I'm going to launch driver toolkit and I'm gonna go ahead and start the scan this one is only showing 10 ID ATPI okay see there's this one is showing 10 and the other one is showing 12 this is right here up-to-date drivers okay but when I come over to try to change my radio settings it says that I got no AMD drivers installed and this is very annoying this type of uh, crap always happens with AMD I have no clue why so I'm gonna go ahead and run it here update now you may need to disable the security software temporarily yeah don't remind me again and well guys this is gonna take some time it could be five minutes it could be 20 minutes for being the first time all right guys well after having all of your drivers up to date including AMD I was able to get it to work finally um, I installed my drivers like I said and I uh, uninstalled the AMD drivers and installed back again and then it worked so we learned something new today okay guys that is part of the troubleshooting the last step that you want to do as you can see right here where is my one terabyte hard drive? I mean, my two terabyte hard drive. Where is it? It's nowhere to be found in here. We know it's on. It's showing on the BIOS. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on uh, this PC. Click on your computer. Go to manage right here. Go ahead and go to disk management. 
and initialize the, this one let's click cancel that for right now don't click on anything that comes up on the screen this right here is my windows 10 uh usb flash drive or stick whatever here is my two terabyte so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, highlight it like that and i'm gonna go ahead and whoa what's the problem here properties what is going on let's click on drivers let's see what happens here okay this is new to me I'm gonna go ahead and go to storage this management again allocated uh, okay that is weird disk management all right so let's go ahead and do this here i thought i was going to be able to do it the other way the way that i do it all the time uh you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it all right so i guess i didn't read that my bad so click ok all right so after doing so let's go ahead and highlight it and new simple volume I've never, I honestly, guys, I have never had to do this, like the stuff that just happened. I always go to uh, click it, right click it, new simple volume, but this time was different. Don't touch any of that. Click next, uh, and you can put whatever later you want. I'm going to put it in here, G for games. And NTFS, leave it alone don't mess any of that you can name it however I'm gonna put in here games whoops games storage all right perform a quick format and here we go it's formatting and as you can see now we got our one terabyte i mean two terabyte uh, hard drive mechanical hard drive you can do the same thing when you buy a brand new ssd or another hard drive and go back to disk management don't forget how to do it this pc computer manage disk management and here you go that's it all right guys or if you want to wipe out any disk just click delete volume and it will set it back to how you got it all right guys i hope that this video helped you a little bit give me a thumbs up down below and stay tuned for more videos to come i hope that your computer is up and running with this tutorial and the previews on how to build your computer i'll see you guys next time stay beautiful as always your friend sergio with tech overclock